Well, howdy. This is my DWC Strawberry Grow. Just started it. I have this uh, pot here. It's from a, uh, a clone machine, and I don't use it for that, so I uh, decided I would uh, grow some DWC strawberries in this instead. So, what I've done, uh, this is a 2-inch net pot, and I cut the bottom off it. Uh, you can see the roots are hanging down and you can see the crown is above the in the foam insert and I did have to enlarge the hole in order to get the stems through uh, and then I trimmed the roots a little bit and trimmed off any extra crap on top so I have four of them in here and that should be plenty because they're going to run her and uh, the rest of these plants are going to go outside in a, in a day or two um, this is a variety called totem and it's a pacific northwest variety and it bears two crops one in the spring and one in the fall so a couple of things i want to tell you um, People ask if you can grow strawberries in an air garden. Uh, the answer is yes, as long as you can keep the crown up above the water, because otherwise it will rot. So what you would need to do is take out those little uh, pod baskets and put your plant in there. You could even clip the bottoms of them off like I did on here. And then you would need to pack around it with, uh, I would use rock wool or something like that uh, and you could but uh, what I really want to tell you is don't buy the pods that are seeded because they will take you two to three years before you get any berries and they may not even be that good uh, the reason we grow strawberries from runners is they're just like the mother plant and so what that means is every plant is identical but when you grow stuff from seed it it varies the seeds are actually on the outside of the strawberry and they don't uh, necessarily go grow true to the variety so you could have anything there and you would be you would be tying up your air garden for you know two years anyway at least and so I wouldn't do it. Uh, if I was going to do it, I would get strawberry plants and do it like that. But anyway, this is a uh, deep water culture. i um, going to lift this up. And uh, you can see we got bubbles in there. I've got air stones. And that's it. It's just filled up with water. And uh, the roots hang down. And... And I'm going to have to take this out. But, so what I wanted to show you, uh, right here, uh, I, I added some nutrients, and so I'm at 635 parts per million. pH is 5.5, and that's all good for uh, deep water culture. It'll go up a little bit over time. So, anyway, um, that's what's going on here. So, um these are just about ready to start growing I'm not right now I've got this in front of my air garden it's not going to stay here it's going to go in the kitchen and it's going to go under a light because strawberries require a fair amount of light I mean don't forget most of these things that grow outside have evolved for full or at least half sun every day uh, apparently uh, they say strawberries are self-fertile, so I don't know uh, if I will need to pollinize the flowers or not. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just brush your fingers across them or shake them. Uh, this particular variety tends to bear on runners, so what I expect to have happen is to have a lot of runners hanging down over the side with berries on it, and 
I'm pretty excited to try this. So they'll grow and probably around June uh, if they were outside they'd, they'd flower. I don't know if it'll be any faster indoors or not. Uh, gonna find out. And then they are supposed to bear another crop in October. I have my doubts about how good a crop they'll make in October because we can get rainy weather here and strawberries if they hit the ground you can get mold on them and all that so I don't know but in the house in growing them indoors they should be fine so I should get two crops off this the other option you would have is uh, get a, a true day neutral variety those just continually bear berries and that way you'd have a continual harvest uh, your plants would probably you know be good for a few years and you can get you know fresh plants off the runners so you can keep renewing them uh, and that's really all there is to growing DWC strawberries right now so anyway take good care of yourselves happy gardening don't forget to stay green. All right. Bye-bye.